Tools are essential to adventure. Take this bike helmet, for example. It is a tool for keeping your noggin safe when mountain biking. Or this Leatherman, essential for getting into all that wasteful plastic. Coffee is a tool for getting my backside out before sunrise. Even a vehicle is a tool. My van not only enables me to do my job, but it gets me to where the adventure is, and in style, I might add. A hiking bag, essential for carrying the tools that enable adventure. There are a few tools, though, that actually make your adventure better and make you a better adventurer, and in my case, photographer. One such tool is the subject of today's video. That tool is the Humble Map. Now, see, we are parked just here. And this is a really quiet spot in the middle of what is one of the biggest forests in Snowdonia. Now, the reason I've come to park in this exact spot is because of these two things here. We've got two waterfalls right by each other. Now, I never knew these waterfalls existed. I've been to this forest loads of times because it's a really popular spot for mountain biking. Um, and I've been here so many times just to do that. Whereas for photography, I've never really considered it because it's a really touristy forest, especially on the north end. But we're on the south end of the forest in this car park that's right in the middle. You have to drive quite a way in to get to. There's nobody else here this morning. And because of that, I think I'm going to get a good opportunity to photograph both these waterfalls. There is one problem though. Now finding a trail to follow on a map and following it, they're two very different things. And I think it's an important skill to learn as a photographer is to be able to read a map and follow it because it's one of the only ways you're going to find those locations. Annoyingly, I've forgotten my clip, my Peak Design clip for clipping my camera onto a bag. It's on my other bag. As soon as I got here, got my camera out to clip it on and realised it wasn't there. That's annoying. I keep, when I take a photo or do some B-roll with my camera, I keep going to clip it back on and forgetting it's there. I've just got it's such a uh, like muscle memory now that I just clip it on there. It's so annoying. Uh, you don't realise how much you miss something until you haven't got it. I won't make that mistake again. Man, I love these sorts of forests where you get all of this sort of like, I don't know, almost tropical feel. I mean, it's still really early in the morning before seven o'clock and it's already a bit warm for you for a jumper, which for Wales is saying a lot. And so it does feel quite tropical today and there's a like a mist in the air. It's not down here, sadly, because that would be awesome in here. It's just licking the top of the forest uh, on top of the hill. I don't know, it gives it a real tropical feel here today. And I, I love those sorts of forests. Those are my favorite sorts. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a plantation forest, all the straight trees all in a line, but there's something about a natural deciduous forest that feels so wild. There's a sign there that says no gold panning. Now, I don't know about you, but it never occurs to me to go gold panning <laughs> until you see a sign that says no gold panning. Well, I've just seen an Aston Martin Vantage, I think it is. I can't remember the actual name. I don't keep up to date with supercars. Uh, I'm more into, yeah, everyday car, yeah, every man's fast car, not uh, the super ones that I would never be able to afford. But it's not often you see one of them in the middle of a forest, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the things you see, when you do photography as a hobby. So here we are at the first falls and it's not really working out. <laughs> um, 
you see all this like pipe worker stuff down here there's no access to the waterfall at all from top or bottom uh, which means that I can't get a good composition of it uh, there's like a sheer drop here so I can't get down to there to shoot up to the falls and it's not the most picturesque of falls anyway there's a lot of horrible like twisted metal and stuff from when they used to work here but the good thing is that I checked on the map and there is another option um, before I came I showed you earlier so let's see if that all works out Oh my life. Check this out. I'm so happy that worked out. That's such an awesome waterfall, that one. I'm really pleased with that I managed to catch that. Just goes to show that if you use a map properly for your photography, then you'll find some awesome locations, ones that you never even knew about. If you uh, look for good photography spots in Snowdonia, this isn't one of them that comes up when you Google it. The only reason I found this is because I used a map to spy out locations and that's something that you can apply you just pick up a map even if it's one that's just your local area I can guarantee you'll be able to find something on it that you'll be able to get some awesome photographs with I bet it'll look awesome here in the autumn this is definitely a spot to come back to for the autumn waterfalls and autumn leaves are just like meant to be so look out for this location in about three months time so thank you for watching today's video um, I do genuinely appreciate everybody who watches my videos if you have enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up that makes a huge difference lets the algorithm know that this is a video that people want to see if you're not already subscribed then please consider that too i'd love to reach that 1000 mark before the end of the year i know it's an arbitrary number but if i get to that then i get into the partnership program and you know it makes it a lot more doable these videos because uh, i can start get a bit of money from youtube as well then to fund these trips and that sort of thing and to create more content for you so if you're not subscribed then that would make a massive difference if you want to watch another one of my videos then click on this video here and i'll see you next time